Bu Yan Cheng. Hello, Mr. Gu. You can go finish your resignation procedures at any time. Okay. Resignation? You're leaving? That's not something to be happy about. Have you found a new job? I will. Don't worry about me. How about you? Have you fully recovered? Don't worry. I'm strong. By the way, you... Shun Yuk Xuan. Come here. I have work for you. Gotta go. Bye. You mean... You want me to digitize all these documents? That's right. Perhaps we can ask the relevant staff where the digitized files are. We don't have to repeat work that's already been done. I've asked them. The computer broke. The files were lost. That's unfortunate. Get started. Poor me. Such heavy burdens on my thin shoulders. Staring won't help you digitize the files. Yu Xuan, I finished the procedures. Are you free tonight? I want to treat you to dinner before I leave. How about Japanese food? My treat, are you sure you want to eat there? The price and vibes of a fancy restaurant make me lose my appetite. We'll have a great time eating barbecue. What are you doing? This is an invasion of privacy. Give it to me. No texting during work. Have you completed your tasks today? Work overtime until it's done. How many tasks are there? Three? Five. Five? Let it be five. I'm a veteran gamer. You'll be surprised by how fast I can type.
Boss, what are you looking at? I'm checking your work. What is on your file? It's an accident. I usually don't drool. Why is the screen black? I didn't save the files. Boss? You stepped on the power strip? I didn't. Gosh. You're such a master of lying through your teeth. I'm hungry now. I'm going to have dinner. You can't. Why? You haven't finished your work yet. Besides... I'm warning you. Don't follow me! Did I step on it? Sorry, I'm late. Boss gave me too much work. I fell asleep while working. I was so mad. It's okay. I'm glad you came. Let's start eating. You must be hungry. You ordered so much. Let's drink first. Cheers. Although I'm no longer in the Goo Group, if you need any help, don't hesitate to call me. Bai Bin? Since we met, you've helped me so much. I haven't thanked you properly. How can I ask you for help again? You said we are friends. Friends help each other. It's because I'm taking you as my friend that I'm speaking so frankly. If you need any help in the future, let me know, okay? No problem. By the way, did you resign because you met difficulties at work? Yeah, something has been bothering me. What happened? Yuxuan, actually, I... What are you doing here? Aren't you here for a date? That's what you have for dinner? They don't look appetizing. Mr. Gu, why don't you sit down and join us? I'm not here for a free meal. I'm here to remind someone that she hasn't finished her work and should go back to work instantly. I haven't even started eating. Fine. I'll give you five minutes. Hurry up. Bai Bin, ignore him. Let's enjoy the food. Eat like a horse and drink like a fish. Vibin is very macho. But you? You're a bit girlish. Why are you so serious? No hard feelings. We won't tell anyone, right? You. Then prove to me that you're a macho man. I don't think. You know Gu Yancheng well enough. But I know men well enough. If you don't believe me, just see if he's always trying to prevent you from being alone with other men. Also, provoke him in front of other men. If he reacts competitively, he definitely likes you. Have I proved myself?
Sorry, I need to use the bathroom. Hello? Hey, Hikson. I did as you said. It seems that Gu Yancheng really likes me. What should I do? He likes you. Why are you asking me? I don't know what to do. Do you like him? I don't know. Hikson, how do I know whether I like him? What's wrong? Shun Yuk Shuan, can't believe I made friends with such an idiot in love. How about I date him for you? Listen carefully to what I'm going to say. I'm all ears. When you like someone, you'll have three obvious symptoms. First, your heart will beat very fast, anytime, anywhere. Once he gets too close to you, your heartbeat may go up to 180. Second, you'll miss him like crazy. You miss him all the time, especially when you need him. Third, this one can give you a hard time. You hurt as if someone stabbed you in the heart. When you feel heartbroken for someone, unfortunately, it means you love him to distraction. Huixin, according to your standards, it seems that I don't like him. After all, my heart only beat very fast when he kissed me the other day. And I think that was because I was so angry. It doesn't count, right? It doesn't count. It doesn't count. It's okay. Relax. I heard that the Yiyu Garden Project has gotten into a dilemma. The board members are fretting over it. Aren't you bothered? It's none of your business. You're no longer an employee of the Goo Group. You helped me a lot. No matter what, I do care about you. After all, I know what's been holding you back. It must be tiring for you to keep it from the board and shareholders. How did you know? I've been your assistant for five years. If I hadn't even noticed that, I wouldn't have been worth my salt. Mr. Gu, I sincerely wish you could get the Yiyu Garden Project. Where is Gu Yancheng? He needed to deal with something about work and left. What on earth does Gu Yancheng want? He comes and goes as he pleases. Have I got him wrong? Yu Xuan. Yeah? Let's eat. The food won't taste so good when it gets cold. Yes, eating is more important. Mr. Gu? Weird. Where is he? Hello? Hello, fairy. Is Gu Yancheng with you? No. You sure? He postponed the meeting with Plus, an important client for you today. I now need his opinion on an important file. I can't find him or get through to him on the phone. I'm at the end of my rope. For me? He was with me today. But he left without saying goodbye. Do you know where he is now? If he's disappeared without even telling you? He must have gone to that place. Mr. Gu? Boss? You can't drink, but here you are.
drinking all alone in the dark. Gu Yancheng, are you okay? My goodness, my heart is beating so fast. Do I really like Gu Yancheng? hands that must not be seen by anyone. Because of these hands, I can't get the EU Garden Project. They are useless hands. <laughs> useless. Yeah. Useless. Boss, don't torture yourself like this again. Everything will be fine. Boss? Gu Yanchen? Wake up, we need to go home. Gu Yanchen? Yancheng, I'll go back alone. I'll leave you here. Mm. Gu Yancheng. Finally awake. Why am I here? Did you have a blackout again? I forget it. I'll get the car. You sure? This peach grapefruit tea just came out recently. Try it. Thank you, Grandpa. Grandpa.
I came here out of the blue to ask you something. What's going on? Go ahead. Well, Mr. Goose Hands, why can't he sculpt again? You've known this matter? He told you about it? Mr. Goo drowned his sorrows last night. He got drunk and confided in me. But he didn't tell me the reason. Then you have to ask him. I can see that it's a great blow for Mr. Goo that he can't sculpt. I don't want to see him so sad. I also asked Mr. Shao about it, but he said it's not his story to tell. So after thinking about it, I came to you for the answer. Yuxuan, I have a question. Why do you want to know? I want to help him. Good. It happened five years ago. Next, we'll announce the winner of the 7th Golden Sculpture Award. The award goes to the sculptor of Elegant Gathering, Gu Yancheng. That accident had a great impact on the company, so the Goo Group kept it a secret. The public only know that Yan Cheng was sick. After that, he can't sculpt anymore. But Mr. Goo doesn't seem to have any trouble using his hands in daily life. His hands recovered well. All kinds of functions are great. But for some reason, he can't use a sculpting knife. So the doctor suspected that it was a psychological problem. However, he received therapy, but it didn't work either. What you're looking at are hands that can't sculpt anymore. It turns out Someone as exalted as you can also be in such pain. Mr. Wang sent someone to follow up on the Yiyu Garden project today. He told me about the Wei family's new conditions. Also this Friday afternoon, they will decide on the plus-winning bidder in the board meeting. If we want this project, we must reply to them before Friday morning at the latest. Otherwise, they'll have to weed out the Goo Group. What's your plan? I quit. Why don't you give it a second thought? I remember you said you've recovered a little. Right? I tried again. It's still too difficult for me. Okay. Do you need me to reply for you? No. Later. I'll call Mr. Wang myself. The meeting is about to start. Let's go.
boss, I'll buy you lunch. Do you have time? Something must have happened. Or you wouldn't have smiled so eerily. Tell me, what is it? A date. A date? Who's the girl? We've known each other for so long, but it's the first time that I've heard the word date from your lips. It's fairy, right? I knew it. When did you two start seeing each other? Good for you, Gu Yanqing. You kept it quiet, but you did it quick. When did you make it clear to her? Make what clear? That you like her. I didn't. She asked me if I liked her. What did you say? I didn't answer. You're so straight-laced. If I were her, I would be mad and not talk to you again. She must have felt so embarrassed. She was not angry. She was not. That's not a good sign. If she wasn't angry, it means she didn't take you seriously. Really? But she just asked me out for lunch. Buddy, uh... Buying you meals is just a normal human social behavior. When people want to talk about business, ask for help, make apologies, and express gratitude, they buy you meals. And it's just lunch on a working day. What are you fantasizing about? So it isn't a date? Mr. Gu, let me make one thing clear to you. You have to become her boyfriend before you call having meals. With her dates. You also have to make every date a special occasion. You need to make preparations beforehand. Find out what she likes and make a perfect plan. Surprises and gifts are a must. Then you can call it a date, understand? I need to think about it. I'm leaving. When are you coming back? There are several decisions you need to make. Now I understand that poem. She slept till the sun rose high, for the blessed night was short. From then on the monarch held no longer morning court. Nice tea. Boss, what do you want to eat? My treat. Why are you buying me lunch? You took care of me days ago. I want to thank you by treating you to lunch. Buying you meals is just a normal human social behavior. When people want to talk about business, ask for help, make apologies and express gratitude, they buy you meals. He's right. Who's right? No one. What do you want to eat? No matter what you want to eat, I'll buy you. Just name one. You also have to make every date a special occasion. You need to make preparations beforehand. Find out what she likes and make a perfect plan. What kind of food do you like? Me? Seems that I like all kinds of food. If I have to make a choice, I'll say Sichuan cuisine. I know a great Sichuan cuisine restaurant. They have peppers that are so spicy you that can't think straight. Let's go there. Boss, you can't eat spicy food. Can you handle that? If you can, I can too. Great, please. Boss, this is Pepper Bullfrog. This is braised rabbit with pepper. This is pepper beef stir fry. The last one is the most amazing. It's stirred chicken with two kinds of peppers. It has long hot peppers and bird eye chilies. It's fantastic. Boss, give it a try. If they're too spicy for you, just tell me. After all, there are only the two of us here. Being macho is not as important as your stomach. Boss? Are you okay? Of course.
don't you eat the dishes? I'm hungry. I just want rice. Like to play tough. Waiter, we want more dishes. Boss, as your assistant, I'm considerate and have been doing my job well, right? You said you want a gift, so I took you here. Maybe you can find something you like here. You want to buy me a gift at the mall? You know anywhere else where we can buy gifts. Let's go. Wait! I've decided what I want. What's it? We need to go to one place to get it. Boss, here we are. The gift you want is here. The collections in the sculpture museum are not for sale. If you want something in it, I have to talk to Grandpa first. Don't worry. I've told Grandpa Goo about it. He's agreed. Let's go. Come on. This is what I want. You want my work? Yeah. Everyone wants to have the work by the sculptural genius. Besides, products at the mall all have price tags. Boss? What you carved are priceless, right? Of course. These are satisfying works I carved in the past. Which one do you like? You can take it. I don't want any one of them. But these are all I have now. Boss, could you sculpt something for me? Anything is fine. I'm not picky. Boss, I know your hands can't sculpt now. I'm not asking you to give me the gift immediately. Just take your time. How did you find that out? You told me yesterday. Remember? That's why you gave up the Yiyu Garden Project, right? Could you not give up so soon? Your hands are fine. You can overcome your mental problems. How did you know about that? I didn't dare to ask you. So I asked Grandpa. He told me about it. Even if you're my personal assistant, you've crossed a line here. This is my privacy. You don't have to be so caring. I just... Leave. I want to be alone for a moment. Guiancheng. I remember... how you showed up by my side so many times like a hero. I thought you just liked to... Play the hero. 
But later I read one sentence from a book. It says there is only one heroism in the world, to see the world as it is and to love it. This is life. Cruel things happen to you. Some people lose their confidence and never get back up. But in my eyes, you are a true hero because you've never given up on sculpting, have you? You've been holding on all this time, so please, please keep holding on. That's what I think a hero should do.